Adam and Eve this. Twins born during pandemic named Corona and COVID. Is someone having a bubble? A boy and girl born in the midst of India's coronavirus lockdown have been named after the deadly virus. The parents of COVID and Corona hope the twins' names will serve as a reminder of the hardships they overcame as they were brought into the world during the pandemic. Heaven forbid. Mother Preeti Verma told journalist that the delivery happened after facing several difficulties and therefore me and my husband wanted to make the day memorable. Indeed the virus is very very dangerous and life threatening but its outbreak made people focus on sanitation, hygiene and the good habits. Thus we thought about these names. Then the hospital staff also started calling the babies as Corona and Covid. We finally decided to name them after the pandemic. After going into labour late at night on March 26th, Vera says her husband called for an ambulance that through a special service launched for pregnant women. But the vehicle was stopped by police several times on the way as cars and fans are not allowed on the road due to the nationwide lockdown. Family members who would have loved to have come to the birth were unable to make it to Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Memorial Hospital as buses and trains have been halted. The babies were delivered in the early hours of March 27th within 45 minutes of the couple's arrival. Doctors performed a cesarean section due to complications. A spokesman for the hospital told journalists both COVID and Corona are healthy and have now been discharged with their mother. What? Hot damn, there's a lot of things happening over in India today. Get this. Policeman wears coronavirus helmet to warn people to stay home. A police officer in India on the other side of the globe has taken a new approach to the coronavirus pandemic. Rajesh Babu donned a helmet made to look like the virus to frighten people when they saw him out on patrol. The country is on a 21 day lockdown to limit the spread of the pandemic. Rajesh was pictured in Chennai today where he pulled over motorists and tried to make them aware of the importance of staying home. He told Asian News International, we take all the steps but still people come out on the streets. Therefore, this Corona helmet is one of the steps we are taking to ensure that people are aware of the seriousness of the police. The helmet is an attempt to do something different. When I wear this, the thought of coronavirus comes into the minds of the commuters. Especially the children react strongly after seeing this. I want to be taken home. A local artist customized the helmet using paper and gave it to him to wear. Woo! Even the UK's gorillas are stockpiling to get through the coronavirus crisis. Can you believe it? These pictures appear to show the animal kingdom is picking up on the crash for stockpiling. Miriam Hurst was visiting Bristol Zoo last week when she caught the gorilla cradling a pile of vegetables in her arms and refusing to share his food. The nurse couldn't believe the resemblance to the current stockpiling habits of thousands of Britons around the country and indeed the Western world. Since the coronavirus outbreak, people have been panicked by toilet roll and other essentials which has left many supermarket shelves entirely empty. Miriam, 58, was visiting the zoo on the last day it was open to the public before shutting down amid a nationwide coronavirus lockdown. She snapped the pic of the 15-year-old gorilla Kukara and shared the pictures to social media. She said, 
Seeing Carter gathering as many vegetables as she could carry made me think about all the panic buying photos that are all over the social media at the moment. I couldn't believe it. So I had to take a picture of her. This was the last day the zoo was open. My favorite picture is the one where she looks like she's thinking, Damn! Caught in the art!